<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your chance for a really big cheer to give the groom some... Uh, Courage. Some courage to get going. So, everybody, one, two, three. <laughs> I want us all to start with one word, and I'd like you all to say it together with me. And I've forgotten the word. I genuinely have. Something to do with her being late. No, I, uh, I remember it well. Uh, October 10th, 2010, the day I got down on both knees and begged John to pay for my wedding. I had a fiver. John, I'd like to thank you for your kind words um, and also for your bravery in speaking first. As you can see, I'm uh, a little Gary, bit nervous. Yeah. But, uh, but it certainly calms my nerves knowing that the funny speech has been given. So uh, me and Adi are all right. Uh, distinguished guests, family, friends, and Martin. <laughs> <laughs> On uh, behalf of Mrs. Sheridan and I, <laughs> uh, welcome once again to Forward House. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed your day with us so far. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're both very grateful you could spare your sh share our special day with us, <laughs> as many of you have travelled a great distance. I uh, can honestly say it wouldn't have been the same without you all here, it yeah. would have been considerably cheaper. <laughs> uh, I, feel, I feel very honoured to be standing in front of you all, uh, close family and friends. Uh, it's quite possibly the only time my wife will ever let me talk on behalf of both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Please bear with me if I seem nervous, as I chose not to use the pre-written speech Jackie gave me. <laughs> now, as is uh, custom um, in all weddings, um, I'd like to take a moment for you all to fill up your glasses. There's a lot of speeches to be taken. Uh, speeches, toast to be, to be made. Uh, but firstly, it's not been possible for everyone we love here. Uh, to be here with us today. Uh, we know they're all with us in, us in spirit, most certainly in our thoughts and in our hearts. Uh, will you all join me in standing? Please pick up your glasses. To uh, absent family and friends. Absent family and friends. Uh, Chris and John. Uh, I thank you for, congratulate you for producing such a beautiful, <laughs> caring, independent and loving daughter. Uh, it honestly feels like I've known you both forever. Uh, I'm very honoured to call you the in-laws. Uh, I'd like to thank you both for your blessing, uh, your hospitality and a warm welcome into your family. Uh, John, I'd personally like to thank you for passing on your knowledge in... Uh, <laughs> In roof tiling, <laughs> brass cutting, <laughs> wiring and electrics, <laughs> gathering firewood, <laughs> painting and decorating, <laughs> demolition, <laughs> masonry, <laughs> plastering, <laughs> pool cleaning, <laughs> fence building. <laughs> So uh, for anyone who, chickens? <laughs> oh, yeah. for anyone planning to visit John in France, don't be fooled by the apparent lack of the French language. <laughs> the word, if I get it right, travaille vacances, uh, yes. does in fact translate to working holiday. <laughs> he knows, and I learned the hard way. Uh, Chris, oh, wow. mum number two, as all my text messages are signed off. <laughs> Uh, firstly, I'm sure everyone will agree, Chris looks beautiful today. Aww. Uh, I personally want to thank you for everything you've done for me and Jackie. Um, you've been Jackie's rock time and time again and are always on the other end of the phone whenever we need you. Uh, you and John both make me feel very close. 
make, make us both feel very close, <laughs> even though there's a thousand miles between us. Uh, to you both. Oh, nearly. <laughs> nearly. Uh, to you both, I'll do my very best to live up to your expectation, and I promise to always love and protect Jackie. She is the love of my life, and I hope today that, I, that you have not lost a daughter, but gained an extra seat at the dinner table. <laughs> Uh, Mum and Dad, uh, to say thank you doesn't nearly seem enough. Uh, you've put up with me for 28 years, and I was a good kid. <laughs> uh, you've loved and supported me through everything I've done, and have sacrificed so much in your lives to give me the best possible start. I could not have asked for greater parents and I hope today I've made you proud. Uh, again, can everyone stand for me? Can everyone raise a glass to our parents? To the parents. Really there, I'll be moving <laughs> Right, that's it, yeah. I don't want to encourage too much drinking <laughs> during these speeches, so I would appreciate just the loudest screams, the loudest shouts, whatever you can do as I introduce the, uh, the two best dressed seven-year-olds I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Leah and James, everybody. Uh, our page boy and flower girl. Uh, you've both done us all, and I'm sure everyone else very, very proud today. <laughs> now, there is an unwritten rule of wedding etiquette that states nobody should look more handsome than the groom. <laughs> but as we've all lost this to James today, <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit out of character and compliment my ushers, Ben and Rob. Woo. On their brains <laughs> and not their beauty. <laughs> uh, gents, you've both done me very proud. Uh, great wingmen, and you've helped us organise this day. Spot on. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> to uh, Jackie's entourage, uh, our maid of honour, Emma, and bridesmaids, Gemma and Becky. Um, you all look amazing. It's, uh, Thank you all for your support, uh, for everything you've done for my new wife, um, and everything you've done for Jackie up and up to, and including this day. I'm not going to get you all to stand again, <laughs> but can everyone raise a glass for me? Uh, to our maid of honour and to our bridesmaids. <laughs> three more to go. Three more to go. <laughs> Uh, me and Jackie would also like to show our appreciation uh, to very special people. Um, my nan, uh, Jane, and also uh, Jackie's godfather, Kevin, uh, who gave us some absolutely beautiful words in church this morning. Um, and we've got a small present, but as I forgot to give all of the presents out, I'll do them at the end. <laughs> we actually put them in order of what we wanted to do, and we haven't given any of them, so we're not stingy, really, but we've got something for you. Right. Jackie. Oh, sorry. My new wife. I cannot put into words how good it feels to call you that. Uh, I stood at the altar this afternoon uh, a little longer than expected. <laughs> that is a massive understatement. Uh, um, but as I walk, watched you walk down the aisle, uh, made me realise how truly lucky I am. Um, you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, no amount of kind or loving words can truly explain how I feel about you, uh, but you are my best friend, my soulmate, and I look forward to us growing up together. Uh, Jackie, thank you for marrying me and loving me so much. Uh, ladies and gents, please stand. That's a probably the most important speech I'll ever give. <laughs> 
誰聞いてる ?To my wife and my absolute world to Jackie <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I'll, uh, I'm going to go, but、uh, I'm going to leave you all to enjoy the fiction of A.D. Kipling. <laughs>、um, A.D., you are a best friend to both me and Jackie, and have done us very, very proud as our best man.、Um, as I've not <laughs> heard your speech, speech yet, <laughs> <laughs> we did have a gift, but as I haven't heard your speech yet, we were going to hold on to it. <laughs> but as I ruined that earlier, we'll, we'll hold on to it.、Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for listening. <laughs> Uh, enjoy the rest of your evenings and、uh, please give a warm welcome to, to AD, my best friend. <laughs> <laughs>